Tune in Saturdays at 1 p.m. for the Your Body is Your Pharmacy radio show. Hear from the doctors that were among the first in the U.S. to merge the ancient wisdom of Ayurveda and natural medicines with the advances of modern medical science. Listen to pioneer doctors Varender Sodi, Schellender, and Anju Sodi to keep up with some of the latest medical advances and learn from some of the true leaders of Ayurvedic medicines every Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. with the Your Body is Your Pharmacy radio show on Desi 1250 AM, radio that listens to you. If you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer and is interested in adjunctive holistic approach, please come and meet our doctors at Ayurvedic and Naturopathic Medical Clinic or call us at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Panch Karma Detox Treatments are a great way to utilize natural healing mechanisms of the body. Our clinic in Bellevue, Washington offers over 36 years experience in Ayurvedic treatment. Call us for more information about our Panch Karma treatments at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Are you looking for quality Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments for your chronic issues? We offer a holistic, wholesome approach to living with chronic diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. If you're suffering with diabetes, heart disease, hormonal issues, digestive issues, and other chronic health issues, we offer comprehensive Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments to reverse your diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. Good afternoon, folks. This is Dr. Shalender Sodi on the show, Your Body's in your, your Natural Pharmacy. And uh, today I'm actually doing this show all by myself. My co-host, Dr. Anju Sodi, have Start, uh, thought of taking a day off because she had some other things to catch up. So I thought, uh, well, I will do this show all by myself. So uh, anyway, uh, in order to call to the studios, uh, I'm going to give you this number, one 1250 I'm going to repeat it again, one 1250 And... Uh, you know, the topic for today, which is a very uh, complex topic, uh, I hope uh, you all will learn from this and you might know some people who may be suffering from it. So the topic for today is the candidiasis or the yeast overgrowth, uh, which can happen in the individual. And I will give you some of the common symptoms which can happen with it. Uh, before I start that topic, uh, you know, you guys can, do all the listeners, uh, if you have a language barrier, you can also call me in Hindi. Aap mahare saath Hindi, Urdu, or Punjabi mein bhi baat kar sakte hain. Hindi, Urdu, Punjabi mein call karne ke liye, aap hume 1-844-301-1250. Ek bar dobara, 1-844-301-1250. पे आप मुझे फोन कर सकते हैं and that is the direct line to the studio and we have our handy dandy engineers who will take the line Mr. Andrew and he will uh, uh, forward that call to me and I'm looking forward to a good busy show today uh, like I mentioned uh, earlier uh, that we are talking about candidiasis how many of you guys have noticed uh, or the girls or the children you have noticed that they feel exhausted they get tired very easily or sometimes you have cravings for the sweet. You know, that, you know, you say, I always crave for the sweet. I just cannot have a little bit. I have to have more. You know, you may be in surprise that may be an indication of candidiasis or yeast overgrowth. Other thing to pay attention, if you are told or if you notice someone having a bad breath, all the time. I see quite a bit patients in our clinic uh, at Bellevue Clinic at Ayurvedic Naturopathic Medical Clinic when patients come in and they said, we have consistent bad breath, doctor, and we don't know what's causing it. And, you know, the terminology for that bad breath we call halitosis. Uh, and, you know, a lot of people start looking into and searching into other things and sometimes they get treated wrongly by the antibiotics, thinking that might cure the halitosis, actually it sometimes makes it even worse they come in with. So, you know, that's one of the signs of candidiasis or yeast overgrowth. 
if you notice white coat on your tongue or you know thick coating on the tongue that's an another indication that you might have a candidiasis so you know these are the common things which we see and sometime if you notice that uh, you know you are having a brain fog i hear that word quite often uh, you know i just can't think straight i just forget things easily you know that is a indication that there is an bacterial overgrowth or yeast overgrowth in the system and that leads to that type of problem as a brain fog the other thing how often we see hormonal imbalances in the female quite often don't we and that is another indication could be that the gut is not healthy and the hormones are not getting absorbed and cleaned by the liver so that may be an indication of candidiasis again folks so other few things for the candidiasis uh, uh, overgrowth or the yeast overgrowth in the system is a joint pain and that is if you are young and you just don't know it doesn't look like an arthritis or you don't have any history of injury or anything like that or autoimmune it could be related to the candidiasis and i'll tell you why you would get the joint pain the other thing very common loss of sex drive the people think they just don't have energy to be involved most common other things which are common in northwest we notice is chronic sinuses chronic sinusitis and allergy issues and that is another indicator of a, uh, you know big big indicator of that you might be doing wrong diet which is feeding the existing yeast or candidiasis i hear this problem that there is lot of digestive issues digestion 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 the people come in i see majority of my practice you know 30 to 40 percent of population who come to me to see me uh, have some issues with digestion and they always say that i get gassy i feel bloated the moment i put a food in my mouth it just feels like that i just you know going to blow up so that's another indicator that you have candida and or the yeast overgrowth if you are one of those individual who catch cold easily or who get sick easily i mean you are the one you know going to either a school or colleges or walking into the mall or somebody close by pass who had a you know viral infections or something else uh if you catch a cold that easily that mean you just find every month you're getting sick you have a very weak immune system could be an indicator underlying factor maybe that you might have a yeast or candidiasis chronic utis urinary tract infections bladder infections are very common in the women and sometimes in the male i see more women suffering from the utis basically women get yeast infections very easily and it get taken over by the urinary tract system and they get uti urinary tract infection which can be very obnoxious and sometimes painful and people can have low grade fever to high grade fever and sometimes it turn into the kidney infection as if they don't get treated so folks you know all these things could be an indicator not always majority time it could be an indicator that you might have a candidiasis so if all those listeners uh, if you are knowing somebody or if you suffer with this please feel free to call me at 1844 301 1250 i'm ready to take your calls at the studio and uh, you know uh, again uh, if there is a language issue aap hamare sath hindi urdu aur punjabi mein bhi baat kar sakte hain बात करने के लिए एक आठ सौ पे फोन कर सकते हैं एक आठ सौ चौतालीस एंड द टॉपिक फॉर द टुडे विच वी जस्ट मैंशंस इज द कैंडिडाइसिस सो आई मैंशन सम ऑफ द जस्ट वेरी कॉमन साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द कैंडिडा एंड 
you know, most of the time people, you may be wondering, uh, you know, some, you know, you never heard this term or some of you might have heard this. What is a candida? Actually, candida is most common type of yeast infection. And it can happen in any cavities in the body. It's, you know, most commonly found in mouth and intestinal tract, vaginal tract, urogenital tracts. You know, all these tracts, wherever the mucous membranes we have, uh, you know, they can get affected by the yeast or the candida. And also, you can even get a skin infections. And you can see yeast infections, the fungal infections, on the skin too and those are indicator of yeast infection if the immune system is a kind of working optimally if your immune system is very strong and tight uh, you know these type of uh, yeast infections or candidas are very rare thing to happen and uh, you know you don't get it your body is able to knock it off in fact we get exposed to the all type of yeast different molds and fungi uh, you know, throughout the day, throughout the year, and more commonly in the fall when the uh, leaves are falling from the trees and, the, you know, in the northwest weather and then all the fungus growth can happen. Even sometime you get exposed to the fungal growth from your own kitchen area. And if you look into your refrigerator and if you said that black moldy stuff, that, you know, can cause an immune compromise in a person who may be prone to have a yeast infection. So all these are the common things which can lead to certain types of yeast infections uh, in the body. However, you know, if your immune system is weak and your immune system is not working properly, you get these kind of symptoms more often. Like I mentioned earlier, you might feel fatigued, getting tired. You know, have you ever felt like walking into certain areas on the house or into the store or in your office? You all of a sudden feel like, oh man, my energy is drained. I feel very tired. The possibility is that you are allergic to certain response in that air. And if there is a fungus or yeast or mold, and if you feel like drained, most likely you are a candidate who have a candida. And you may not even realize that, that you have it. And if you feel that way, I do recommend you paying attention to this, uh, the topic which I'm covering today. So candida is a kind of type of a fungus which we also know as a candida albicans. And like it can grow in the gut, which is the intestinal tract. It can grow in the vaginal canals. It can grow in the mouth cavity. And it can grow even superficially on the skin too. So, you know, what it does actually is that, you know, candida is a fungus which actually can inhibits with the nutrient absorption at the gut level and if you know if it is overpowered if it takes over the natural flora of the gut we all have very healthy bacteria in our gut which whose job is basically to help to make uh, the nutrients in the body from the food and the anything we eat it converts them, it reacts them, and they kind of maintain our immune system throughout the GI system. Our GI system, the gastrointestinal system, is a complex, you know, it from the oral cavity, from mouth to the rectal areas, is the whole area is covered, you know, with the, all the different floras. And this flora uh, is very important to maintain our immune system. So whenever, whenever the candida takes over, it overproduces the typical candida symptoms which may appear in the digestive tract. And if it left unchecked, it breaks down the walls of the intestinal lining and penetrates into the bloodstreams, which release the byproduct toxins in the body. So, you know, that's why you feel kind of, oh man, I don't have energy, My, I feel very fatigued and tired. And we also call whenever that happens, when the toxins are leaking, into the gut and, and the, to the main bloodstream into your whole circulation we call it leaky gut syndrome that's just the terminology 
indicating that uh, you know you your digestive tract is overpowered by the bacteria and uh, some of the things which are compromising your immune system and the yeast overgrowth have taken and it have compromised our natural flora of the gut and you are getting fatigued or tired initially the very early symptoms you might feel easy tiredness not having enough energy and you might even feel you feel like irritated at the mood swings all this could be related to very simple thing the candida overgrowth in the gut so whenever your body's natural ph balance we call we all have a natural ph balance if it get you know disturbed either you know you're too alkaline or too acidic the candida growth can happen and it can grow out of control creating a systemic problem for the whole body so what happens if the candida overgrowth takes over the healthy bacteria so our immune system compromise and all the you know essential challenges at the body which it has to deal with the toxic load from the overgrowth puts us into the position where we are we we are easy to get sick we get uh, cold easily our immune system get com- cold or sometimes chronic sinusitis which never go away and no matter how we treat it and we keep on treating wrongly by adding more and more antibiotics sometimes uh, steroids so here comes the catch when we have candida overgrowth and we take a antibiotic on top guess what we are doing we are actually supporting the candida growth again so these mainstream antibiotics are not sometimes an uh, answer for it of course if we give you uh, antifungal treatment uh, you know there are uh, uh, the mainstream main prescriptions which can be taken orally and these individual when they take they temporarily feels better but when you give an antibiotic on top of it that kills the bacteria which actually we might be actually supporting our immune system further because antibiotics sometimes have hard time recognizing uh, you know which one is a bad bacteria which one is a good bacteria so they kind of go as a nuclear explosion and whatever the way comes in their way all those bacteria get killed and we get further immunocompromised and then you wonder okay i have taken one course of antibiotic and i still do not feel better again then we you know the physician your primary care physician might think well maybe you are you know resistant to that antibiotic let's give you another course of antibiotic again the same story repeats and you still don't get better so these are the certain things if you have been treated multiple times with antibiotics throughout your life and your infection that the chronic sinusitis does not improve that's an indication that you know the candida overgrowth is there at the gut and you are not going to get better with the mainstream treatment with that so folks uh, i am uh, talking about candidiasis and we will take a small break and in order to call me you can call at 18443011250 and we are talking about candidiasis thank you if you're suffering with diabetes heart disease hormonal issues digestive issues and other chronic health issues we offer comprehensive ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments to reverse your diseases call us at 425-453-8022 for more information If you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer and is interested in adjunctive holistic approach, please come and meet our doctors at Ayurvedic and Naturopathic Medical Clinic or call us at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Panchkarma Detox Treatments are a great way to utilize natural healing mechanisms of the body. Our clinic in Bellevue, Washington offers over 36 years experience in Ayurvedic treatment. Call us for more information about our Panchkarma treatments at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Are you looking for quality Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments for your chronic issues? We offer a holistic, wholesome approach to living with chronic diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. 
Welcome back, folks. Uh, this is Dr. Shalender Sodi, and I'm your host on Your Body's Nat- Your Natural Pharmacy. And today's topic is candidiasis. And, uh, you know, before we took a, a quick break, uh, you know, uh, you know, I mentioned all the different signs and symptoms which may be a factor which might link it to the candidiasis. So, uh, you know, anyway, if you have a, any question, feel free to call me to uh, talk to me at one eight four four three zero one one two five zero. And again, one eight four four three zero one one two five zero. And so, what causes candida infection? There are many possible causes of candida. Uh, you know, that can be one of the reason is could be you probably are one of those guys or girls uh, who like to have a high sugar diet or you crave sugar and you eat sugar. Refined carbohydrates, not the complex carbohydrates, but the refined carbohydrate, too much of that. And if you are the, those one who love to have an alcohol every day, either in a beer form or wine form or just a straight hard liquor, that all helps to grow the yeast. To add that, if we have other few things like if you have taken a broad spectrum antibiotics, I was giving an example before the break, that can be a factor. Sometimes these antibiotics are needed to fight a stubborn infection to kill the offending bacteria in our system. So the problem with antibiotics and is that by overusing them, often creates the antibiotic resistance. And that they just don't kill bad bacteria, but they also kill the good ones. And uh, there is a caller on the line, so I will take the call and go from there. Caller, go ahead. This is Dr. Shilinder Sodi on the show, Your Body is Your Natural Pharmacy. Hello, Dr. Shilinder. Yes. Dr. Shilinder, my name is Lina. Hanji. Dr. Shilinder, I have acidity ki problem with hai aur पॉसिबल है की जब भी फूड एंड ऑल दिस कुड बी लाइक मैं जो आपका टॉपिक आप कर रहा हूँ डिस्कस कैंडिडाइसिस एंड यूज ऑफ यू मे हैव दैट एन इशू अगर आप काफी देर से अगर काफी जो ओवर द काउंटर एंटासिड हैं जो मोस्ट कॉमनली लोग यूज करते हैं कि भाई चलो भाई टम्स ले लो या अदर दूसरे आप ले रहे हैं पर उसके बाद आपको टेम्परे रिलीफ होता है बट इफ यूर कीप आर प्रोड्यूसिंग तेजाबीपन एसिडिटी आपका क्रिएट हो रही है खाने के वक्त या खाने के बाद ऑल दीज कैन बी एन इंडिकेटर द अंडरलाइंग फैक्टर ये कि आपके जो है वो आप जो फूड को भी रिएक्ट कर रहे हैं बिकॉज ऑफ द क्योंकि आपका जो गट फ्लोरा है वो डिस्टर्ब है तो आप कई बार जो है सर्टन फूड्स आर मोर प्रॉब्लमैटिक फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ एन इशू अगर आप सोचें कि आप खाना खाते हो सर्टन फूड्स जो खा रहे हैं तो उससे एसिडिटी और बढ़ रही है फ्राइड फूड से बढ़ रही है शुगरी फूड से आपकी बढ़ रही है और आप ब्लूटेड हो जाते हो तो यू नो दैट एन इंडिकेशन के यू माइट हैव यूज अगर आपके स्किन पे रैश हो रहा है दैट इज एन अनदर इंडिकेटर इधर यू आर हैविंग एन एलर्जी टू दैट पर्टिकुलर फूड और सर्टन ग्रुप ऑफ फूड के आपको उससे एलर्जीज हो रही है उसके कारण आपके स्किन के ऊपर रैश हो जाता है एक्जीमा हो जाता है समटाइम वी कॉल इट यू नो बाई ग्रॉइन एरिया में भी रैश है तो ऑल दीज एरियाज आर एन इंडिकेटिव ऑफ अंडरलाइंग यीस्ट इन्फेक्शन या कैंडिडा इन्फेक्शन जैसे हम कहते हैं फंगस ग्रोथ है हो रही है तो आपको लेना जी आपके इस प्रॉब्लम के लिए वट आई वुड सजेस्ट एक तो आप मोस्ट कॉमनली अपना नोट करें कि आप कौन से खाना ज़्यादा खाते हैं किस तरह के फूड को क्रेव करती हैं अगर आप शुगरी फूड को ज़्यादा क्रेव करती हैं और यू कैन नॉट कंट्रोल दैट तो दैट कुड बी एन इंडिकेटर कि आप माइट यू मे हैव अ कैंडिडाइसिस और यीस्ट द अदर थिंग इज यू आल्सो वांट टू सी If you are only reacting to particular food, then you might have developed a sensitivity to that particular food. So that is an indirect indicator कि वो जो है आपकी जो एलर्जी आप कहेंगे मैं छोटे होते ये फूड खाती थी बिल्कुल ठीक रहती थी पर अब जब से कुछ चेंज हुई हैं मैं 
जॉब करने लगी हूँ स्ट्रेसफुल वर्क एनवायरनमेंट है तो मेरा जो इशू है कि आई एम ऑल द सडन स्टार्ट रिएक्टिंग टू दिस फूड मैं पहले दूध पी लेती थी तो नथिंग हैपन नाउ आई ड्रिंक मिल्क आई गेट ब्लोटेड अदर टाइम आई माइट कि भाई मैं पहले ये नट्स वगैरह खा लेती तो कुछ नहीं आता बट आई ईट नट्स आई रिएक्ट तो ये उसका रीज़न ये है कि आप जो है देर इज हमारी इंटेस्टेंट जो आंतड़ियाँ हैं उसमें बहुत ज़्यादा जो है माइक्रोवीलाइज होते हैं जो कि न्यूट्रिएंट्स को एब्जॉर्ब करते हैं एंड समटाइम दे गेट ओवर बिगर साइज दैट मीन दे गेट सम हाउ कम्प्रोमाइज बिकॉज ऑफ द इन्फेक्शन और यीस्ट के कारण या अगर एंटीबायोटिक आपने लिए हैं बर्थ कंट्रोल पिल्स लिए हैं या स्टीर ट्रीटमेंट दे ऑल कॉम्प्रोमाइज तो ऑल द सडन जो आप जो खाना खा रहे हैं तो आप मैक्रो न्यूट्रियस यानी कि बड़े जो हैं वो आपकी सर्कुलेशन uh, में चले जाते हैं ऑल द सडन यू स्टार्ट रिएक्टिंग एंड लीड्स टू एन कैन अ रिएक्शन ऑन द स्किन तो आपके केस में पॉसिबिलिटी यही है अगर आप थोड़ी अपनी लिस्ट बनाएं कि मोस्ट कॉमनली फूड आप कौन से खा रहे हैं तो आप उसको अवॉइड कर सकते हैं तो माय रिकमेंडेशन टू यू इज वॉच योर डाइट फॉर होल वन वीक एंड राइट डाउन द थिंग्स विच हैव क्रिएटेड द सिम्टम्स वर्स एंड बाय एलिमिनेटिंग दोज फूड यू कैन गेट फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ डिफेंस दैट मीन आप उन खानों को अगर आप अपने लिस्ट में से निकाल देती हैं और उसके बाद आपको थोड़ा बेटर फील होता है तो दैट इज दोज आर द ओफेंडिंग फूड्स एंड ऑल्सो अवॉइडिंग द सोडा पाप्स एंड शुगरी फूड्स would be a very good start for you to take care of those things and that okay. might help you to improve and uh, you know the most common like uh, uh, i recommend ke ghar mein hamare jo indian food mein uh, we use quite a bit of uh, uh, turmeric and that's a good uh, histamine blocker and that can uh, actually can stop the certain reaction so adding those foods turmeric more ginger more in the food will help you o- overall so i hope this uh, helps okay. you otherwise you know i always recommend looking at uh, you know uh, checking with the uh, your doctors or naturopathic physician or if you are in this area so feel free to call our clinic at 425 and thank okay. you for calling and i Dr. have Shet- yes go Dr. ahead lena haan ji ek question aur hai ki jab main raat ko sote hu to mujhe saans nahi aata तो इसलिए मुझे मुंह से सांस लेना पड़ता है और उससे मेरे को सारे मुंह में इंफेक्शन हो जाता है हाँ, तो वो ये है कि गले में गिरता है तो उसके कारण आपको सांस नहीं आती एंड समाइम स्लीप एपनिया कैन बी एन इश्यू एंड ओवर वेट बींग एन प्रॉब्लम तो आप यू मे ट्राई जल नेती जैसे सुइया रात को नॉर्मल सेलिन वाटर से नमक वाली पानी से आप जल नेती किया करें दोनों तरफ और उसके बाद थोड़ा सा घी का इस्तेमाल करें तो यू विल फील मच बेटर एंड योर नेजल पैसेज इज माइट ओपन अप अदर थिंग्स आर यू कैन डू इज यूक्लिप्टस ऑयल जो होता है या मैंथॉल वाले जो ऑयल है उनको थोड़ा सा इवेपोरेटर में रखें तो उससे आपका जो आपके नेजल पैसेज खुल जाएंगे अप्लाइंग लिटल बिट ऑफ यूक्लिप्ट ऑयल टू नेजल पैसेज एरिया विल आल्सो हेल्प टू ओपन तो ये जो आपका इफ यू डू इट रेगुलरली लीना जी तो यू विल फील मच बेटर ओके तो आल्सो वर्क जल नीति आपके लिए बहुत बढ़िया रहेगी और तो यू शुड लर्न इसके लिए यूट्यूब भी आप वॉच कर सकते हैं इफ यू डोंट नो एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सी ए डॉक्टर हु कैन गाइड यू हाउ टू डू नेति पार्ट और जल नेति सो थैंक यू फॉर कॉलिंग लीना जी एंड कॉलर नंबर टू यू आर ऑन फॉर एयर एंड दिस इज डॉक्टर शैलेंद्र सोरी ऑन द शो योर बॉडी इज योर नेचुरल फार्मेसी Hi Dr. Shrinder, this is Katie speaking. I had a question in regards to the condition you're speaking of. I've been staying sick for about the past year or so on and off every other month, and I was wondering if this was potentially a symptom of what you've been speaking of. You know Katie, uh, that that is a very good question. If you are an individual who never were uh, getting sick earlier and all of a sudden you finding that you are someone who just catch anybody having uh, you know or walk by that's an indication of compromised immune system and compromised immune system can be an indicator that you may be having underlying factor like yeast overgrowth candida overgrowth so and these there is a you know uh, i can tell from your voice that you are a young person and you probably are a student a full time student or something or working overtime or other things like that 
uh, you could be a person who are under stress what happen in the stressful environment the cortisol gets secreted in the body and it slows down your our digestion so the individual uh, who are cons- Uh, constantly uh, under stress uh, they don't absorb the nutrient because uh, their gut is slow because of the cortisol overflow in the system so you know you start developing allergies to particular food and that's probably sometime you might notice that you know you break out in here and there on the skin or you get nasal passage congestion or you feel heavy or puffiness all these are an indication that the underlying factor is a yeast overgrowth or the gut health is compromised so you know uh, katie for that i would definitely recommend you to make sure not to do a sugary diet too much N- you know avoiding uh, any type of uh, alcohols uh, which is not uh, good for the gut also other thing is also consuming more green leafy complex carbohydrate type of food consuming uh, you know fish uh you know from the uh not from the farm fish but from the wild would be good and having a wholesome diet so if you stay in tune i'll be covering certain diets which can really help to maintain a robust your immune system and that can really help also taking probiotic the probiotics are very very healthy uh, uh things to take every individual you know i would recommend anybody who's a, a under a kind of weather uh they should be taking a probiotic and probiotics uh, the, those are the combination of acidophilus and bifidobacteriums and multi strains are usually very good for just robusting your immune system i hope this suggestion helps you katie and i thank you for calling so thank you so much doctor you are very welcome so uh you know these two calls were very uh, interesting and uh, i would love you to call me more at 18443011250 and again 18443011250 aap hamare sath hindi urdu aur punjabi mein bhi baat kar sakte hain call karne ke liye 18443011250 301250 pe aap phone kar sakte hain एक आठ सौ चौतालीस तीन सौ एक बारह पचास वी विल टेक ए शॉर्ट ब्रेक एंड विल बी राइट बैक If you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer and is interested in a junctive holistic approach, please come and meet our doctors at Ayurvedic and Naturopathic Medical Clinic or call us at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Panch Karma Detox Treatments are a great way to utilize natural healing mechanisms of the body. Our clinic in Bellevue, Washington offers over 36 years experience in Ayurvedic treatment. Call us for more information about our Panch Karma treatments at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. Are you looking for quality Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments for your chronic issues? We offer a holistic, wholesome approach to living with chronic diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. If you're suffering with diabetes, heart disease, hormonal issues, digestive issues and other chronic health issues, we offer comprehensive Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments to reverse your diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. Good afternoon folks. This is Dr. Shalender Sodi on the show Your Body is Your Natural Pharmacy and today the topic we have is the candidiasis and uh, the you know yeast overgrowth. तो फ़ोन करने के लिए आप हमें एक आठ सौ पे फ़ोन कर सकते हैं 18443011250 तो सम देर आर सर्टन काज इज विच लीड्स टू कैंडिडा ओवर ग्रोथ वन ऑफ द थिंग्स विच आई वाज मेंशनिंग बिफोर द आई बिफोर आई टुक द कॉल्स वन इज द मोस्ट कॉमन काज इज एंटीबायोटिक द ओवर यूसेज ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक कैन किल द हेल्दी गट फ्लोरा एंड लीड्स टू ए यीस्ट और कैंडिडा ओवर ग्रोथ and sometimes we see a patients and the women uh, you can have a oral thrush after antibiotic that mean you all of a sudden find the white coaty stuff on your tongue or sometimes women even uh, uh, start having um, actually even much nastier and more problem with the you know the where they notice the vaginal and the yeast growth in that area and embarrassing sometimes for them so that is an uh, indicator that we have kind of created the imbalance in the flora the other common factors for the candidiasis is a birth control pills 
and you know there is a lot of our young population which have been uh, put on uh, 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 birth control pill just like birth uh, you know antibiotic birth control pills in themselves do not directly cause a yeast infection or candida overgrowth but however when it is combined with the highly refined sugars it has the same course as an antibiotic so birth control pills can adversely affect the body leading to a candida infection and can actually create a ph issues in the body the acidity alkalinity issue in the body and leading to the candida overgrowth so some women when find the birth control pill seem to instigate yeast infection and that can lead to even a long initial infection is gone so that is an indication that birth control pills are contributing to that so you know again it's a better to if you are noticing that you are developing more yeast infection candida overgrowth uh since you started on back, uh, birth control pills you know it needs to revisit to talk to your doctor that what else your options are i'm not a big fan of birth control pills basically i think it screws up your whole body's natural uh way of producing hormones but you know for some individual it is needed and it's an indicated but if you suffer with the candidiasis or these then you may need to be co-managed and we need to modify the other lifestyle issues other is- uh, things which can lead to a steroid issues is a oral corticosteroids and the steroids are again are very very uh, you know nasty for the gut flora uh, either we are you know using uh, tablets or we using inhalants they increase the risk for developing a candida overgrowth and it can lead to a systemic systemic candida overgrowth that means your whole body on your skin you can see uh, the people who use the uh, inhalant or corticosteroids for long term for asthma uh, you know they they can tell that they really suffer from the candida or the yeast so you know if you are taking a, a certain uh, steroids there may be a way for you to think of adding probiotics in your life that making sure you consume regularly probiotic i'm a big fan of probiotic 100b uh you know that's a very healthy combination of seven different strains which can be taken by the individuals and uh, the probiotic 100b is by ayush and that can be taken on regular basis one to two capsule twice and you can also other things you can do to support your uh, healthy bacteria is considering of a uh, coconut oil which is actually rich source of a uh, medium chain triglyceride sometime for the if you uh, note even a, a oral thrush even gargling uh, uh with the coconut oil in the mouth will help and sometime even clove oil uh, which is commonly you can find in essential oil sections in the health food stores and that can be very helpful few drops of that combination with the coconut oil will give you good relief in the mouth the other things which lead to uh, the candidiasis is a cancer treatments a lot of these individuals go through very hardcore uh, medicine the chemotherapies the radiations all this can lead to a candidiasis so you know there was a study done by the merck research uh, which is the main uh, uh, drug producer and uh, they found the people who were treated with the chemotherapies and the radiation developed the invasive types of candidiasis so one third of the patient who were treated had invasive candidiasis because of the chemotherapy and uh, you know also uh, you know these individuals again you can again modify your diet and not do a sh- sugary food too much in the uh, in your food but consume less sugars especially the refined sugar uh, add probiotics these will be very helpful for your you know creating the balance in the gut flora and these are the also individual who actually feel that uh, they are deficient in the b vitamins because all the sudden the body the gut is not producing the b vitamins and leads to that fatigue phenomena in the body uh, now you can see how the candida is feeding into the fatigue factor because all the sudden 
your body doesn't produce folic acid, your body doesn't make B12 and other B vitamins because of all the abnormal flora. So, you know, that actually these B vitamins actually are the source for energy. Other people who are diabetic, either you're a type 1 or type 2 diabetic, you know, that can feed to a yeast, that can feed into yeast and create an overgrowth of candida. And I have seen lots of diabetic patients who actually have yeast which never leaves them alone. Basically, the sugar imbalance is so much that they just don't know. So what do you do in these type of individuals? These individuals have to be very careful. Make sure you manage your blood sugar very well. If you are on a prescription, make sure you do your you know, the insulin or whatever other uh, oral uh, uh, sugar-lowering medicine you may be taking, take them regularly. If you are an individual who have a type 2 diabetes, this is type of uh, sh uh, diabetes I think is very much manageable by following a healthy lifestyle routines. So that means, okay, we need to make sure you eat good beans, healthy beans in your diet, eat lots of green leafy veggies, and veggies like bitter melon, which is very commonly used in Indian kitchens, that is very helpful. Other thing which you can do is a fenugreek, which also lowers the sugar in the body, and also exercising routinely. Uh, I, have, I tell my patients at the clinic, if you are a diabetic, you need to walk every day at least three to five miles. Build up your stamina where you are walking three to five miles. I have few patients who have been so thankful to me for giving them that a very simple tip and they've been walking four to five miles and they have reversed their type two diabetes by just walking and following good routine healthy diet. So also by doing that, you are also cutting down the yeast growth. And these are the individual who came to see me for you know, bloating and, you know, the, for type 2 diabetes. And when I linked those to the candida overgrowth, they understood the concept, what is really body is doing. So as soon we kind of reverse the candida overgrowth and modified the diet, these are the very healthy individuals who felt really good. So folks, if you have a question, feel free to call us at one 301 one two five again ek art so chutali teen so ek bara pachas we will be taking very short break and we'll be right back after the break are you looking for quality Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments for your chronic issues? We offer a holistic, wholesome approach to living with chronic diseases. Call us at four two five four five three eight zero two two for more information. Panch Karma Detox Treatments are a great way to utilize natural healing mechanisms of the body. Our clinic in Bellevue, Washington offers over 36 years experience in Ayurvedic treatment. Call us for more information about our Panch Karma Treatments at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. If you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer and is interested in adjunctive holistic approach, please come and meet our doctors at Ayurvedic and Naturopathic Medical Clinic or call us at 425-453-8022. That's 425-453-8022. If you're suffering with diabetes, heart disease, hormonal issues, digestive issues, and other chronic health issues, we offer comprehensive Ayurvedic and naturopathic treatments to reverse your diseases. Call us at 425-453-8022 for more information. Welcome back, folks. This is Dr. Shalender Sodi on the show, Your Body's Your Natural Pharmacy. Every Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m., we come and we discuss about different topics. Uh, today's topic is candidiasis. And before the break, I mentioned, the, you know, how other things can contribute. The other thing which leads to candidiasis is a weakened immune system. Any individual with a weak immune system is more likely to develop candida. So this population can be, you know, infants, small children, elderly, or those who have been diagnosed with the HIV or AIDS, uh, or autoimmune conditions or inflammatory conditions they can have a compromised immune system and because of that they can have a candida overgrowth because their immune system is just not able to fight off so again we need to strengthen the immune system in these individuals other things which we can talk about is the common symptoms which we notice with the candida is, like i mentioned is a 
chronic, chronic fatigue syndrome. If you have a fatigue or exhaustion and you simply cannot shake it off, regardless of number of hours you sleep, uh, you probably have a chronic fatigue syndrome because, you know, you rest, you see, and you feel fatigued and tired, and you just don't have that energy to do things, or you get tired easily. So, you know, uh, this is a disease uh, when we talk about chronic fatigue syndrome is main symptom is a fatigue. So, which can last, you know, if you are finding, is, uh, you know, you've been uh, for six months or over or a year, you've been feeling like that, you know, you need to be uh, seeing a physician. And it can also include headaches, joint pain, difficulties with the memory and concentration, sore throat more often. And, uh, you know, one of the candida symptoms is a chronic fatigue. So uh, we, we need to address that. We need to look into your lifestyle. We need to look into what you're eating. If you're immunocompromised, then we need to pay attention to that and boost your immune system so you don't get sick easily. And if you also find that you are moody, you having liver mood disorders, and that is difficult to diagnose, sometimes uh, you know there could be a link to candida. And there have been studies indicating that sometimes people who have a candida overgrowth, they they sometimes feel very much uh, they get mood swings. They have an anxiety, they have an irritability, and sometimes they have depression. And even panic attack can happen. It's all because the candida overgrowth can be leaching out the nutrients which need by the body to, you know, stabilize the moods and all that. So remember, when we eat food, we are not just eating food, but it actually helps and nourishes the each cellular structure in the body. So that is important. That's why I call food is a God, but food is also your medicine and food is important. So what you put in your body, that's what, you know, you're going to notice. That's what affects your whole system. So we rather put a good food in your body. It's like a house cleaning, guys. So if you put clean stuff in your home, it looks good. You know, if you put dirty things in the home, it gets messy. So the same thing is the body. We need to make sure we eat clean. And we eat right. If you also notice that you have recurring vaginal and urinary tract infection, uh, you know, it's an indication that we should be paying attention what we are eating. And the recurring uh, UTIs and vaginal infections uh, are a chronic uh, uh, part of the candida overgrowth. So, you know, what I recommend... Uh, that make sure the women who notice these type of symptoms wear kind of uh, you know loose clothing and avoid sugars you know chocolates which are sometimes we have a kind of little bit of uh, you know we love to have that sugar or chocolate or certain days actually cut it out you know maybe uh, stay away and also not to do lots of hot baths during an active infection that does not help you know, so these are uh, could be actually leading factor that it causes uh, infection. If you notice that you having an oral thrush, uh, which is actually yeast infection again, uh, it's the same strain of candida that affects the other mucous membrane in the body. Uh, you know, most often caused by the use of prednisone, sometimes oral steroids, and sometimes even by the antibiotics. Uh, so. If, uh, you know, these, uh, uh, if this left untreated, if this uh, oral thrush uh, we don't treat properly, it can affect the digestive tract, even lungs, liver, and heart walls, and which can be even very dangerous. So oral candida is communicable. That means it can transmit to your partner, newborn, through the kisses and all that. So, you know... Uh, if uh, you know if the children share their toys and you know if they have their saliva on it, uh, this can pass on. So again, what you do in this case, we need to give you diet which actually lowers the candida overgrowth. So cutting down the sugars again, you keep going, to keep listening from me how the sugars are actually supporting the alcohol, the wines, the and the beers, the yeast containing breads. All those things need to be eliminated. So you need to prepare your food more freshly. I say become a chef. If you don't know how to cook, learn to cook. You know, it's not that hard. And if you are constantly having sinus infection, chronic sinus infection, uh, you know, it could be 
candida growth. It could be candida. No matter uh, how many surgeries you can do for the getting the you know window operation on the sinuses and the frontal sinuses in the you know uh, you know open up the those to drain it, and if after three months, six months you have the same issue, you have a candida issue. So what it does need, we need to manage it. We need to do the things which will help. So you know that is important. So uh, you know if you also have flu-like symptoms and all the time sick, allergies, seasonal allergies, you are a candidate who have a candidiasis. If you have intestinal distress, uh, is another indication that you have a candida infection. So you know the burping, bloating, and constipation or diarrheal type of issues, a stomach cramp may be caused by the lack of healthy gut flora. So what do you do in these individuals? I said like earlier, probiotics are your very, not all probiotics are same, so look very carefully. The probiotics which are similar to human microflora, you will ha- deal better with those. Also, cutting down the sugars from the diet and starchy food. Uh, that will help to give a boost to your natural flora. And, you know, I also say s- s- sometimes, uh, you know, those uh, the, the kimchi type of foods are very good. You know, that is actually helps to store the flora in the gut. And if you are noticing that you have a brain fog and mood changes, chronic fatigue, uh, you know, look into candida again. Don't ignore it. That is an indication that eating healthy food will help you think straight and cut down the, uh, uh, all the candida growth from the gut. And if you have nail fun- fungus, that means if you notice under the nail bed, those are very hard to deal with. They are tough to treat. And if you have a skin fungus, again, that is the athlete's foot and toenail fungus, uh, you know, or the we call uh, tinea pedis, uh, which is a, like a fungal growth in the feet and under the fingers, under the toenail. You know, that is an indication that you have a systemic candidiasis. So, constant watching what you feed to your body and putting probiotics in your body on normal routine and maintaining a healthy lifestyle is important. That means avoid the alcohol and fast foods are not healthy. All those junk foods are not healthy. They are not going to support your natural flora in the gut. Other thing which I will always, always tell uh, to my female patients, a hormonal imbalance is an indicator, is an indicator that you might have a candida. And a lot of women I see at my clinic, they who come and they have hormonal imbalance. Hormonal imbalance, they say we we have like early menopausal type of symptoms or we feel we have a PMS, which is a premature tension where you can have a tenderness in the breast, mood swings, and everything like that can be. Or a low sex drive, migraines is very common in the hormonal imbalance. Endometriosis is another issue which can be related to the candida. Water retention, mood swings, and an inability to lose unwanted weight. So if you are a person who get, uh, you know, migraine and water retention and you have a hard time losing weight, you know, you may have an issue with the candida, which is feeding, creating to the hormonal imbalance. So, you know, all these things, folks, uh, which are, you know, part of, uh, you know, the chronic fatigue syndrome and all this, uh, which I mentioned, mood swings, compromised immune system can be related to the candidiasis. So, uh, uh, the final, uh, I have a minute or so, I'm going to recommend wha- how you treat yourself. So, make sure, eat healthy, you green leafy veggies are part of your life, eating beans is good, consuming fish is a great idea, also reducing the dairy products is a good idea, not to indulge into alcohol, beer, wine, or hard liquor, that, you know, if you're having these uh, candida growth, it actually doesn't help. Reducing fine sugar, soda pops, these are also not a w- good thing for the candida overgrowth because it will continue to feed into the yeast. Remember, yeast growth on the sugar. So that's a simple, you know, uh, explanation. It's a simple chemistry. So, you know, when we don't give the things to the body which 
it works it creates the uh, candida then body will start flushing it off so anyway i hope that today's topic was helpful the suggestions were helpful so if you like to see me at the clinic uh, i'm at the bellevue ayurvedic naturopathic medical clinic and the phone number over there is 4254538022 and i thank you for listening to today's show and it's been a great uh, all those callers who called thank you very much